Hey guys, here we are in round five of the Vintage League, and we're playing for the 5 0 against 189 Triple Eight. And we won the die roll. Let's see what we can do here. Um, Juan typically likes to play something like shops. Um, I don't really think this hand is very good. I guess it's all right. I guess I'll keep it. If this is something like dredge, we're, we're pretty much cooked anyways. At least main deck. Post board, uh, we we have a pretty strong game. So, um, I think I'm going to play my, my soul ring here. I'm going to try and set up a, a nice turn next turn where I can maybe cast a Sedgemore. Of course, uh, being that I can cast one. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, let's... Actually, I'm going to play my land so I can fluster if I need to. We'll cantrip. Mentor, that's pretty good. Don't think I want to eliminate. Um, yeah, I think I, I've got the ability to fight here, so I think I just cram it. You know, there's a lot higher side on uh, um, having this resolved now. Okay, that's good news. At least we can have double counters to fight what they're doing. Barring it's abrupt decay or something. Like if we're playing against Bug. Oh, Oath of Druids. Oh, I did not expect that. Oath, eh? Okay. Hopefully they don't have anything. I suspect they have a Pyroblast, though. I think I counter the Veil over the Oath here. The reason being is that I don't want them to draw a card. And let's just hope. Can't trip off the top. No. That's unfortunate. We got a deck loaded with cantrips, so hopefully. It's an Oko? Yeah. Let's hope they have no pyroblast. Awesome. Come on, Cantrip. Oh, that's so nice. If I can find another Cantrip, I think the game just ends right here. In this league, this is the first time I've actually had Mentor going, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is all very solid. Um, not just gonna ice it for sure. Yeah, great win there. Okay, Oath of Druids. The good news is, is we've got like some pretty sweet Oath um, hate and four Graft Diggers Cage now. Obviously, it's not perfect, but I feel like JVP is probably not great here. Could be, though. Eliminate's pretty good against uh, Oko. I, I still like Daze. 
I still like my four fluster storms. Uh, this is just kind of like an embarrassment of riches. Probably can cheat on an island. So I'll cut a peak. Let's try that. Maybe it's just better to cut a Night, Night's Whisper or something. I don't know. I mean, these old decks typically run four Pyroblasts post board. They're running like the Muhara type builds. Okay, I like this hand. Days is a lot better when you have a Mox, particularly a non color Mox. We'll keep that one. Yeah. 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 Interesting, they maybe didn't uh, have a land here. I mean, it's very hard to have a gut call where you, you counter a Mox, but every once in a while I do do it. Just for no other reason than a, it's a gut call. Chooses not to shuffle their library, okay. Well, the Druids is fine, or Time Walk is fine. Like, they're down to two cards here. Ooh, well, they got to counter that one. Don't have a choice. Yep, burned. Okay, spoke a little bit too soon. Yeah, wow. All right. Well, summer's a good one. Top. Is this PO? Okay. Just taking a peek, I guess. All right. We don't have much going on, that's for sure. Ooh, that's a nice draw. And we're going to go get ourselves an Ancestral, I guess, here. That's the world we're living in. I mean, we may just die here if they've got a PO. I guess there was a world we could have considered Tink or putting a Graf Digger's Cage down for Tinker. Okay. Ooh, interesting. What is this? Two on top. Okay. Okay, so there's the orchard. And there's the oath. Okay, time walk is in their yard. So I, I guess what we do here is I'm going to actually I can bait with a cage here. Yeah, because I have two cages here, I would have I would have done this the other way around. I would have baited with the ancestral, but because I have the second cage, I feel like I can sit back on the ancestral to see if they counter this. Then I can ancestral and follow up with another cage. So this worked out pretty good. Um, we can let that resolve. Um, now we ancestral. Um, 
going to fetch here now. We can just get another black source because we got a pearl. Let's take a peek and see what they're doing. We got one card, which is a bolus of citadel. One, two, three, four, five. That's six to cast. Wow. Okay. Well, the good news is for us is we just got all the cages. And you know, Oko definitely could be a problem for us here uh, should they top deck one. Um, but outside of that, I feel like we're in a reasonable spot. Yeah, K er, top was a good one for sure. We're going to have to um, get ourselves into a position where we can get some counter magic up. So this is not the worst position we're in. I mean, the Sensei top gives them a bit of an edge on us, but... Okay, mental missed up. Okay. Yeah, I'm tempted to sit here and wait on the Mystic Sanctuary to see if I can get the Ancestral back. But the problem with that line is it means I've got to pitch my Force of Will. Um... I think I'm just going to play this out and try and set it up that I can hard cast the force if I need to. Don't have the luxury to sit back on Mystic Sanctuary here, despite it, it, it could be a big, uh, big play for us. So is this Oko? No, it's something big. Yeah, I don't care about the Citadel. The Citadel doesn't matter because I can't play uh, cards off cage. I think this is just fine. We really need to worry about the threat of like an Oko or something like that. And Fluster Storm is not very good here in this particular position. Regardless. I have to wonder if that was worth it for my opponent to cast the Citadel there. So nice the Graft Digger's Cage bug is fixed. Yeah, you got it. Okay, they're going for something here. Yeah, you can have your cantrip. We're, we're, we need a we need a clock now. I think I'm going to counter this. The, the top is slightly problematic in that it's just allowing them to dig, and I don't really want them digging. Time walk. Okay, I'll time walk here. I think we want to be the first one to be able to deploy a threat here if able. Okay, that's a good draw. Uh, yeah, I like both these. Doesn't really matter. Let me just get this and let's go uh, let's see what we can find here. Okay, resolved. Maybe we could get a, a clock. We could also... I mean, I do have a fluster storm up. We've got storm count here. I could very easily just get something like a treasure cruise, which is what I think I'm going to do. Let's see if this works. Well, they don't have a pyroblast. I mean, we can counter it anyways, but. Okay, very nice. Um, I don't think we've played a land this turn. So I think we're going to gush.
Look, this is maybe a little bit greedy, taking down my mana here to do this. But my opponent has one card in hand. We've got a force of will. I think it's reasonable. And I feel, I feel like if we get on top here, we're going to be in really good shape. Yeah, this uh, this Sedgemore Witch, guys, is a really nice card. Uh, when I first saw it, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. And um, once I, I figured out the combination between Storm and it, uh, I realized it's, it's really quite good. For those of you who are unaware, for each storm trigger, you get a magecraft trigger. So it's 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 very powerful. Okay. So I'm gonna cast a mentor here. When you see it up beside its buddy Ment monastery mentor, though you quickly realize it's it's it, it's a poor man's mentor, that's for sure. Um, yeah, that's fine. We got the decay, and not much I can do about that. So I think that's fine. Um, I think this time I'm I'm gonna see if I can find a blue spell. And um, what I would ooh, that is so nice. Look at this. This is a good draw. Now we're going to get one of our counters out of here. Oh, dig through time. I mean, I guess I'll keep the dig. I can always pitch it if I need to, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my opponent's on a fairly serious clock now. I, I think there's a very reasonable chance that I kill them here next turn. So they did go for a creature. Um, it looks like they caught Grizzlebrand. Yeah, they've just conceded. So there you go, a, a nice 5-0.